Welcome, I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to enable Team Create in Roblox Studio so that you can build games together with your friends. Let's get started. So uh, you'll want to have Roblox Studio open and I'm going to start a new game. I'm going to choose the flat terrain for this demonstration. And I'm going to go ahead and add a part just so you can see it's the same game for uh, when we create the team create. So I've got my part here. It's going to change the color. Okay. So now uh, that I'm here, I'd like to enable team create so that I can invite other people to edit the game and code the game with me. So what you want to do is go up to view and then you want to find team create and then go ahead and click that. And then that will bring up the team create on the left hand side of your screen. And it's asking me to publish the game. So you need to have a published game first in order to do to enable this. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this game. And I'm going to say uh, team create game. And for this lesson. Okay, so now I've got the creator as me and then everything's looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and create this game. And so now it is uh, go ahead, it's published the game. I'm going to go ahead and close that out. And now you'll notice that if you already had your game published, it, uh, it might be saying turn on. So now that I've got this published, I'm going to go ahead and press turn on. And so it's going to go ahead and save the game again and then load it with the team create in place. So now you notice that my uh, username is listed there and I'm the only one that's listed. Now it says we've moved permission to management to the home game settings permission. So that's where you want to find this. So in order to add other people, I'm going to go to home and then I'm going to go to game settings and then it's going to be permissions. So here's permissions. And then now it says who can play this game right now. I've got it a private. Again, you could uh, select either one of those, but for uh, collaborators, you're going to want to go ahead and search for the username. And I believe you can add just about anyone, even if they're not um, like one of your friends on uh, Roblox. So I am um, going to uh, um, add Roblox learner four. Okay, so you should have an option here for play. If you uh, click that and it should drag down to edit. And then once you've done that, you can press save. Uh, I'm going to cancel out of this. Okay, so next you will want to go to Roblox Studio so that the other player can go ahead and edit the game along with you. And when they're in their account, the way they can find it is to go to uh, create. And then uh, you will want to find the game. So there's the team create game. And you will want to click on the second one here, the team create game, the start place. And so this is the uh, page where you can access the game. And this is the page that your collaborator will need to access to in order to edit. So basically, you will want to just copy and paste the link at the top of the page and then send that to the person you're collaborating with. And then they can go to this site and they will be able to uh, edit the game along with you. Again, you want to make sure you give the, the right player the right permissions to edit the game. And now you've got a, uh, you know, a game that you can create together and hopefully uh, share with uh, every, you know, other people as well. So you now know how to join Team Create in Roblox Studio. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.